Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. So I am starting out on a little bit of a weekend adventure. <clears throat> yeah, I am taking off. I mean, I took off two hours ago to the Buffalo National River. And if you've never been to a national river, uh, well, I don't know about others. I don't even know if there are others, but the Buffalo National River is amazing. I enjoy it. Of course, I, I grew up here. It is so beautiful and remote. Uh, I have been without cell phone reception for about 15 or 20 minutes. And I am still an hour or so away from my destination. <clears throat> it has rained just enough to make the road slicker than garbage. And apparently this, the tires that I purchased last time do not like slick roads. This is the first time I've had any uh, elevation changes and rain since I got these new tires, which is fine. I am not in a hurry. I am just moseying out. Uh, there isn't anything terribly exciting behind me. Town, towns, I mean, there's a bunch of towns behind me. But I am just headed out to find a place to throw up my hammock and just kind of, and I brought a camp chair. I mean, I'm, so <clears throat> I have two different camp setups with me. I have my hammock set up, my bug out bag, I guess I have three, my hammock camping stuff, which is in my bug out bag, except for my winter stuff which I haven't put in my bag yet. That's gonna happen probably next weekend. I do have my some of my winter camping hammock stuff with me, my underquilt. I did not bring my overquilt. I brought my woolby and a wool blanket. And, uh, and then of course I have my, my normal camping gear and then I have and then I have a cot and a mattress and a tarp I mean I, and a tarp or I mean, whatever I want to do it kind of just depends on when I get there but this weekend I am going to talk about my hammock camping setup and do a video on that and then I am hopefully, which I'm glad it rained. I'm glad it is gonna rain for the next little while because I've got some fire starting things that I wanna practice with. And I, though I practice at home, you know, it's different with different fuel types and certainly with high humidity and recent rain. That always adds an exciting, an exciting angle to it. And then I'm probably probably just gonna make some tea and swing in my hammock and overlook the river. And that is hopefully gonna be the most that I do this weekend is is sit around and relax and practice some skills test some equipment I have a new knife I want to not new but it is a knife that I have not had out in the field and so I'm gonna be utilizing that a little bit it's gonna be fun and there wasn't a whole lot of planning involved in this matter of fact I didn't even throw my stuff in the back of the truck it's all in the back seat uh, so you know, I've got my normal truck stuff. And then I've got my bug out bag. Which, the last year or two, I have not 
been keeping in my truck because I've got enough stuff in my truck unless I leave town like like I did today to get me from work and home and stuff it's it's a relatively short distance and so I can get home just fine and if I can't come to the house if I head towards either bug out locations I've got some caches along the way so I don't really have that far to make without without stuff even for me and that's the the thing that I use and that's a whole other video in itself but that's that's the thing I use to judge my my distance between my caches is <clears throat> What happens if I lose everything between one to the other and my physical fitness and my, <clears throat> and not just mine is you know the level of activity for my family and so anyone who's followed the channel for a while <clears throat> in addition to my, you know me being a big guy uh, I you know I have a wife with with some disease processes going on and so moving her is going to take a lot too and uh, and so i don't want to i don't want to i don't want extra supplies to be so far that i can't get what i need from her for her from day to day and i also don't have to pick up every cash on my way so yeah one of my friends and that I'm gonna make a video about that here in a minute the point of this video is just sometimes just throw your things in your car drive to the closest national forest the closest state park the closest campground the closest wilderness area oh my gosh that's so beautiful and and go out I am not gonna starve to death I'm not gonna die of dehydration I'm not which I neither of those things are gonna happen but uh, you know I'm I'm less likely to freeze to death since I mean it it is gonna be in the the upper 40s tonight particularly down on the river but I, I could make do and uh, and you can too. And then, and then take those lessons and next time try a, a fourth night or a third night. I'm only coming out for two nights and two day, two nights and two days because I don't really count today as a day because it's already almost seven o'clock. So the road goes from this to this right here, which I know you guys can't see it, but yeah, I'm I'm going down a hill like this. So I'm going to focus on the road. I hope you guys get out, challenge yourself, and I look forward to sharing with you because making some videos is part of my motivation for this trip. I'll talk to you soon. Let's get ready.